Well, well, well. Hello, fellow bookquesters. It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I'll introduce you to this grand genius book. The Grand Genius Summer of Henry Hoopler by Lisa Shanahan. So, so, so. We're here. And let's look at the cover page first, I guess. There's a boy and a girl both riding their individual bikes. The boy is riding a silver bike that you'll soon know as Pegasus. And the girl is riding a red dragster that you'll soon know as Blitz. And the boy's name is Henry Hubler, our main main character. And he is coming to Yalonga for his summer vacation. He is first class warrior Henry Hubler, and he makes things that might happen, bad things mind you, worst worst case scenarios inside heads, lists and lists of them. And whenever bad things happen, like a big storm or a lost pony or a lost something, he's like, oh no, what if, what if do, 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 do happens? He's a great warrior, as I have just mentioned. And, well, there's the, there's the dragster girl that her name is actually Cassie. That is short for Cassiopeia, which is a const And Cassiopeia is a constellation in the sky. And it's kind of cool that she's named after a constellation. After all, how many of you out there are named after a constellation? It's pretty cool. And, well, let's talk about Henry Hoopler. So, as I have mentioned, she has, she has gone to Yalonga for her summer vacation. And he has hundreds and billions of fears. And one of his most major fears is his silver bike. You see, he cannot even ride a bike without training wheels yet. And so, basically, he is very, very dreading being teased and ridiculed by the older boys like Reed who will and and by the way um three families is going to get longer they planned it all along and they're gonna play and whatever and it's a really fun place and so she he is right there and he's dreading his bike his beautiful silver bike I mean she should have been proud of it but she's gonna ride it and she was very afraid of being ridiculed and embarrassed by the older boys and Reed especially as I have mentioned you see Reed is really mean and he's addicted to fishing such and such and uh, Henry meets, uh, meets Cassie at Yalonga and Cassie is living in a caravan well, in, a, uh, in Yalonga and he's been living there for quite a long time and she lives with her pop which means her grandfather, and uh, and she's having a pretty good life, and but she was a tiny bit lonely, and and uh, and Henry is told by her his mom that that Cassie is a friend that is as rare as hens teeth, and as we all know, hens don't have teeth, and so basically it's very very rare, even rarer than a diamond, which makes. Her a very very valuable friend to Henry Hubler, and so and so finally he decides to and she is faced by many many of the dreadful fears that he and the worst case scenarios that he had imagined up in his head, and the last one the one that he had been dreading the most he decided to conquer it. You see, Cassie had been impressed by the bike, the great silver bike. And she said she it was really it was looked really cool. And why wouldn't she and Henry go on ride on it? And she's like, and he's like, oh, um, um, the brakes broken, uh, and something like that. And she made a pathetic little excuse about his bike having no brakes or the brakes being broken or the other way around. And well, what happened? And she's been dreading this uh, this thing that had been back of his mind for a long time and she needed to conquer it 
I mean, she had lots of good times in this vacation. She went, she, they had rainy day where they did lots and lots of board games and he basically won every single one and he was called a genius at board games. He played cricket well, with Cassie and he was shouted encouragement at and he managed to pitch the, um, hit the ball pretty good. And well, it's, uh, it's pretty fun actually, but there was still Reed taunting him about the bike and there was Cassie wanting to ride with him, with the, dra the red dragster and Henry on his new silver bike. And well, he decided to conquer that little fear, stamping on the ground. He, he asked Patch, his older brother, to teach him how to bike. He went to a tiny little hill and went all through the stages and he emerged victorious. And he was a good biker by the end of the day. And peop and all his dad, his dad gave a big bear hug at him, and everyone cheered and hooted and stuff like that. But when Henry finally said to uh, said to find out Cassie, she was at the wall at the wharf where the sting her stingray named Heth that she had named Heth not her stingray, but she feeds the stingray sometimes, and. She was there, and she said that uh, she asked if Henry, if all the nonsense about the brakes was just a big fat lie, and and he said yes, and she was very sorry, and all was forgiven, and they did all they could in Yalonga, and well, that's a lot of stuff. They biked all around the place, looked at the seals, dived in the hole, and. Lots and lots of stuff, and on the very last day, Henry Hoover thought, thought, well, my vacation will not be full if I don't go down a hill of death. And so him and Cassie goes down a huge steep hill, like, ooh, and he has lots and lots of fun. And she goes up and down the hill six times, people. Six. A hill of death. That's basically riding a roller coaster like 20 times. It's impressive. It's impressive that he didn't throw up. It's not impressive and pretty obvious that his legs were turning into jelly. It's life. And uh, at the book's at the book's end, she f when Pop say Pop. You know, grandfather of Cassie right here asks Henry what can he do a favor for him for he had made Cassie less lonely this vacation this this summer. And Henry said, Well, ah, uh, there's only one thing. You see, Reed, the basically the main villain, the bully, the one who had been taunting and jeering at Henry for basically the whole vacation, was was addicted to trying to catch a kingi, which means a, a gigantic fish, hadn't caught one measly fish. And so, since Pop Al was known for his legendary fish catches, he asked him to take Reed out and catch and let him catch some kingi. And the book ends with a happy Henry Hoobler taking a bite out of the kingy that Reed has caught, several kingies that Reed had caught. And him knowing that later Cassie had told him that her mother from the Gypsy Queen was coming at this harbor. And, and, on, and on the way to the harbor, she could come to Henry Hoobler's house. And she knew that it is not the end, and it was only the beginning, and it lit up his heart like a torch. And well, that's the one great book called The Grand Genius Summer of Henry Hoover. It's a great book, as I always say. And well, what did you expect? And like always, the bookquester and the bookquester.